The High Road is dedicated to the men and women of the United States Armed Forces, past, present, and future. Meet Keith Warren. As a 30-year veteran of the outdoor industry and devoted conservationist, this outdoor television icon has hunted across America and around the world. Showing you big game, educating outdoorsmen. Yeah, this is good. And uniting all hunters. I'll be signing autographs later tonight. I, I, I want one, I want one. <laughs> That's Keith Warren. And this is The High Road. This is uh, Saskatchewan, Canada, and I'm telling you what, it is flat cold. They've asked me to come light a few fires. Hey, is this the right field? My name is Lance Miller. I own and operate Woody River Trophy Hunts in Saskatchewan, Canada. You know, me and Keith climbed up into the stands that night, and it was just a beautiful afternoon. The sun was out, and it was gorgeous footage. You know, I, I was just overwhelmed that I was in front of the camera with the bow. That's a giant. Well, this deer was working his way to the field, and uh, I just knew he was going to walk right in front of us. And he got about three steps into the opening. He knew, he knew something was up. He stopped, his head went up, his foot was stomping a little bit. He was nervous. And uh, even though we had sprayed down with the scent killer, I th still think that he might have got a little smell of us. The tines on this thing. Oh my God. Do I love Keith Warren or what? <laughs> Look at this thing. I wasn't even supposed to be hunting, folks. <laughs> oh, wow. Unbelievable. What a buck. From Saskatchewan, Canada, you're watching The High Road with Keith Warren. I'll be shooting 22 inch long, that's right, 22 inch long arrows. These are Lumen arrows by Luminoc. Come here, I want to show you something. Look what walked out in front of me. <laughs> Get on down here, look at him, Lance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I mean, thank you. Oh. Talk about prayers answered, look at this buck. Oh, that's awesome. I shot him, look at the arrow. The Luminoc is right there. He walked in, I promise you, he walked right in front of the Reconyx game camera. I promise you we got a picture of him. He walked in, I don't know, he was like a 12 yard shot and he hadn't gone, he probably didn't go four yards. Lance Miller, thank you. If people want more information about Woody River Trophy, let's give them a telephone number. 306-595-2339. And you can look them up, they've got a great website, and that web address is? WoodyRiverTrophyHunts.com Or you can log on to HighRoadHunting.com, we'll have a direct link over Lance. And y'all, thank you for watching. This has been one heck of a trip. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Gamo Precision Air Rifles. Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center. Beyond 99%. Keith Warren's Texas Hidden Springs Ranch. 
the best value in Texas trophy deer hunting, and Grave Digger Broadheads by No Limit Archery. Watch the High Road in HD at highroadhunting.com. you're going to use a game camera bear hunting I think you'd be a very smart person uh, but I think I want to I want to address something I use nothing but Reconyx game cameras and the reason why is because they are they're perfect they uh, they're made out of plastic bears love plastic just like every game camera housing made out of plastic and if you use any kind of game camera you better use a bracket to hold it to the tree because a bear literally will come up and chew on it and run off with your expensive game camera, you sure don't want that. So what Reconyx has done, they've come up with this new bracket system. You just turn the camera on, and this is after you use these lag screws and you put it to the tree. You put this pin through it, and you can either put a pin on the other side or actually a locking mechanism on the other side. Make sure and spray it down with scent killer. Any place that you've touched, and if you're a bear hunter, I think this is gonna be a whole lot more successful for you and you come back, hopefully have pictures and still have your camera. My name is Lance Miller. I own and operate Woody River Trophy Hunts in Saskatchewan, Canada. I work very closely with Magnum Outfitters running their bear hunts for them. The last time Keith was up here whitetail hunting, he had mentioned that he really liked to go bear hunt. So that's what we're doing this time. The bait's about 25 yards away and it's perfect. We had a Reconyx camera over here got lots of activity on this. The weather is finally, has gotten good. The wind's right. Hopefully the bugs won't be too bad and we'll have some bears come in. It would be a short shot if one comes in. Just gotta pay attention because a bear can just appear out of nowhere. All right, we may have had a slow morning in the deer stand, but it certainly uh, turned out to be pretty good. Uh, Lance wound up going and recovering my bear, which only went about 60 yards, but they've got a policy to where they do not go in after a wounded bear after dark, even though a, a good shot was made. They just don't want to chance it. Now, last night was nice and cool, so this is a monster bear. This is the biggest bear I've ever taken. I mean, he's got a big old noggin on him, and. I mean, they measured him a little while ago, close to seven foot. So, I mean, this is a big old bear. It's also the first bear that I've ever taken with a crossbow. Now, uh, people say, well, why in the world did you want to hunt with a crossbow up here? And the answer to that is because I wanted to. I think it's pretty cool to be able to have the choices to, that you want to hunt, whether you want to hunt with a long bow, a vertical bow, or a, a, a gun muzzle loader, or a horizontal bow, like a crossbow. That's what I wound up doing. Now, this country up here is special. It is a, it's a special part of North America. Uh, it is in eastern Saskatchewan. 
and it's right close to the Manitoba border. If you were to look at a map, uh, see where Swan River, Manitoba is, that's real close to where we are. A lot of agriculture, and the deer get big, and the bears get big, because there's not a lot of hunting pressure up here. Uh, I started coming up here 20 years ago. Absolutely love it. This is a, a remote spot that, like I said, there's not a lot of hunting pressure, and uh, Magnum Outfitters is who I came with on this hunt. But Lance Miller, he also runs uh, Woody River Trophy Hunts. Lance and I have done some uh, deer hunting together. I plan on doing some deer hunting uh, while I'm up here and hopefully we'll be able to score on a big old buck. But uh, for right now, I am absolutely thrilled. Like I said, biggest bear I've ever taken and I do it with my crossbow. I couldn't be any happier. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Reconyx Game Cameras, Savage Arms, Record Rack, Nature Blinds, and Jardin Consumer Solutions, makers of the Game Saver. Bear hunting in the rain, folks, is not a lot of fun, but I stuck it out, it was raining hard, had everything covered up, both cameras, and lo and behold, he shows up, he comes underneath me and works his way right to the bait. He didn't go far, he's right over here, I can see him. Nice bear, awesome. Wow, what a trip. Uh, I had this one on the calendar for a while, coming up here to Saskatchewan with Keith and the high road. And uh, we got up here, he decided to let me hunt. And uh, I come up with a, a beautiful color phase bear, filmed it all myself here in the, in the rain. And, uh, just an unbelievable trip so far. I can't, can't express how much this means to me to come up here and harvest such a beautiful animal. What, what beautiful country up here. I always wanted to come to this part of the world. And I got to finally do it and, and take a beautiful color face bear on top of that. So what a, what a beautiful day. What a, wouldn't want to spend it anywhere else right now. Just unbelievable. He is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Wow. I'm done, boys. All right, we've had a heck of a trip up to Woody River, and I ran into a customer of Lance Miller's, and that's Brock Lesnar, and we have made a deal that I think if you're interested in hunting at Woody River, you're gonna wanna hear about this. Hit him with it. Well, we'd like to invite any and all hunters up to Saskatchewan the fall of 2014. I'll be in camp along with Keith Warren, and uh, we're gonna get up and uh, hunt some big, big Saskatchewan white-tailed deer. So the invitation is out there. Give Lance Miller a call and uh, let's book a hunt. Guaranteed good times. Guaranteed a good time. Tannerite brand, binary exploding rifle targets presents viewer feedback. Hey Keith, my tribal name is Soaring Eagle. We love your show, you're outspoken, and we need more people that'll stand up and say what's on their mind. 
Why is it that the great white hunters are so divided? They divided Native Americans and now look where we are. We are all Americans and as hunters, we should all work together to protect each other and our future. Otherwise, hunters will be gone someday. <laughs> Soaring Eagle, right on buddy. I wish everybody would pay attention to what you said. I mean, the truth is we are all hunters. Not one hunting is any better than the other kind. Now we all maybe have a favorite way to hunt, but you know what, people have asked me for a long time, what is your niche on TV? How have you done it for 30 years? My niche is I don't have a niche. My niche is that I don't pick bow hunting over gun hunting over handgun hunting. I don't, I don't think one hunting is any better than the other. I love it all from frogs to elephants and I do it all. And so I embrace all hunting and just like the Native Americans embraced all hunting, you know, y'all were here before we were here. And I think, yeah, look what happened to you. You know what, and as a hunter, I'm not willing to let it happen to us. I wanna wake all hunters up and realize, you know what, we're all on the same page. United we stand and if they divide us, we're gonna all fall. The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Burt Coyotes, Luminock, and Lumineros. Shadow Hunter, your total comfort hunting blind. Elevators, your easy way up. Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, beyond 99%. And BSA Optics. As archers, one of the best tools that we have is a lighted knock. A lot of folks think that all lighted knocks are the same. Well, this tip is to show you that they're not. The first one we're going to shoot is the Omni Knock. I want to point out that every one of these is going to have a different point of impact, so I'm really not concerned about uh, where the arrow is hitting. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to show you the knock. That's what I'm trying to point out. Oh, and see again, now look at this one. That knock actually charged as I pushed it back. And again, this is the Omni knock. It comes like this. In the package, it comes open because if it came put together, it's gonna go off by the time you get it off the retailer shelf. So let's go ahead and take a shot with this one. Hmm. Okay. All right, this is the tracer, and we activated it using a magnet. Nice, it didn't charge. Okay, again, I really don't care where I'm hitting, I'm just trying to show the, show the knot. Okay. Now look at that, you can see the tracer is actually flashing now. That's a feature it has. That's, and it says that on the package, it's supposed to do that. All right, here's the launch pad, and this is the one, I said it's kind of cool. The problem is, you know, you, you can't lose this little guy right here. And that's a safety to keep it from going off when it's in your quiver. Look at that. See, it's actually charged now. So, that's the way it goes. I don't even know where it flew. It's gone. Whoa. Turn everything off. That is absolutely amazing. I said I didn't care where I was hitting, but that's ridiculous because at 20 yards, I should be able to hit that backstop. But uh, the, the cool thing about it, we have three cameras going. We can play that back and we should be able to see if the knock is lit well, be able to actually see where that arrow flew. I'm glad I got a big backstop on it, but it's proof that different arrows fly differently. Now I index that arrow, I made sure that the cock uh, vein was at the same angle it was supposed to be and that the uh, knock was seated properly. It's just the arrow flew weird. All right, next one up, uh, we'll shoot the Luminoc. That's the last one. And here's the Luminoc. Put it in, I'll take a shot. Whew. Let's go take a look at the target. All right, here's what we have. The launch pad, launch right out of here. We're gonna have to go find that, but we've got the tracer that's blanking, and then we have the Omni-Knock in the middle, and you can see it's pretty dim. 
And then the Luminoc down here, it's absolutely bright as it can be and it's, it's real clear to see which one performs the best. You know, uh, Luminoc is the leader in the category of lighted knocks and it's easy to see why. They're simple to use. They uh, have no other parts other than just the Luminoc itself. Put it in the aero shaft and you're good to go. They fit most shafts. They have a five year battery life. Uh, they last 40 hours when fully charged. And you know, as an archer, as a hunter period, we have to depend on our equipment every single time we get to the field. I don't want to have to carry batteries or safety mechanisms to charge knocks. I want things clean, simple, functional, and good value. And that's what I get when I use the Luminox. So if you like this video, uh, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. How about it? I think you'll like the other videos that you see. And if you've got any questions about lighted knocks, go ahead and put them in the comments below and we'll get back with you. Thanks for watching. That right there is pretty impressive. The High Road with Keith Warren has been brought to you in part by Diamond Down Thermal Gear, the world's most effective thermal apparel for hunting. Comal Taxidermy Studio of New Braunfels, Texas is proud to be the exclusive taxidermy studio for Keith Warren and The High Road.